Welcome back, gentlemen, to my backyard range. Today, we're gonna use the force. Ely force, that is. 50 yards in my CZ457 with the IBI barrel. And of course, we're gonna take all the chronograph data, make sure you guys have all the information you need. Let's get to shooting, what can I say? So here we are 50 yards with my CZ457 LRP with the IBI barrel and Ely Force. Today we're using the Force and the Force costs us $13.49 Canadian. Don't know what that is for you guys in America, but Canadian pesos are not worth very much these days. That's what we're shooting. As you can see now we have the day at the range hat and the shirt, this stuff is slick, very nice cool for the hot summer days. Downrange we have a target for testing our ammo. We're going to do 20 shots on center, four or five shot groups on the outside. At the end of the video I'll post all the data from the chronograph and after every group we will post the group sizes. I'm basically happy with anything sub MOA. That's good enough for me for everyday shooting as long as it's one MOA or better. I'm happy with that. So finding that right ammo for the right price is the goal here. And while I do it, I'm showing you guys all my results. So if you like these kind of videos, please go down there, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Helps us out. Make, lets me know that you guys want to see these videos and I'll keep making them. So here we are, like I said, at 50 yards. The weather is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Our wind is six to nine kilometers per hour from my left to my right. I don't think that's enough to make too much of a difference at 50 yards. That's pretty close and that's not much wind. Probably like three miles an hour kind of thing. So let's get the shooting. Center. Here we go. Oh no. Failure to extract. The force is too strong, I guess. It does seem a little hotter than most uh, subsonic ammunition. So it's probably supersonic. And another one. Already, I'm telling you, I would not use a ammo after two failures to extract in 10 shots. That's not very good. And I don't want to start doing this again. Hopefully that's the end of any malfunctions with feeding and extracting because that's super annoying and it makes shooting this stuff not very fun at all. So hopefully we're not going to have any more issues. Let's get our next 10 fouling shots in and then let's get to the groups. I'm just going to go up to 20 just to see. Okay, here we go. Shooting on 20 power now. Here we go again.
Okay. Maybe we're done with all the malfunctions now. I hope. Let's do our groups now. Top left target for five. Here we go. Group number one. Not looking too great, but it's also not looking too bad. Group number two, here we go. Ah, uh, seriously. What a pain in the ass. Not a bad group. Still, that failure to extract is just a, what a pain in the ass. Group number three, bottom right target. Here we go. Not even sure how many shots that was now. Uh. Looks like four. We'll shoot one more anyways. If that was six, sorry guys, but pain in the ass when you're dealing with all this other bullshit here but group number four for either five or four whatever we have left that was awfully low What's happening here? That's what I figured. So we shot six on the last group, which did not too bad. This group was all right for four, I guess, but anyhow, this is not going to be run in this barrel ever again. Potentially not the rifle. I haven't tested the factory barrel yet with Ely Force, but 42 grain bullet, 50 rounds. No thank you. I'll post up the chronograph data now. Sorry to say I'm not going to do this again. Take care, guys. See you next week.